All right, here we go, folks. This is probably actually the last video in the trailer construction update series, at least for this first phase. Uh, I will still be doing stuff on the trailer in the future, but it won't be as regular and yeah, just kind of as I feel it, feel like doing it. There's no particular plan uh, that's going to be that's going to be executed. I do have a few plans that I'm going to be taking care of, and I'll I'll be sure and update you guys on the channel when I do that. But uh, there really aren't any major uh, updates left at this point. So uh, I'm sorry about the lateness of this video. Uh, the trailer has actually been done for a couple of weeks now. Uh, we finished it for I can't really call it an open house because it wasn't open it was uh, private by invitation only but we did show the trailer uh, to a bunch of people a few weeks ago and in a mad rush to get ready for that I spent all day every day for uh, over a week really uh, just trying to get everything uh, all the last minute stuff taken care of um, so and since that time uh, Paul and I've been shooting promotional material we plan to make a few promotional videos to uh, advertise and show off the trailer and uh, that's been occupying quite a bit of time, but more than that, it's had, it means the trailer has been completely full of like lighting and big camera rigs and things like that. We're, we're getting serious about this. We're shooting it on my Ursa Mini. We are lighting everything. Uh, we're using really fast lenses, uh, all sorts of stuff to try and make it look as, as uh, cool and professional as we can. And we're actually only about 25%, maybe even 25% done with it. Uh, we shot some material with me. We got to bring other crew members in because I don't want uh, I don't want to advertise the company as being just me because it really isn't. You know, we've got a whole crew that we work with, and I want to include as many of those people on the on the video as possible. So, um, but anyway, I digress. And so, let's actually just kind of dive right in and show you what has been changed since the last update video they did. So we'll start in the back here. First thing you'll notice, there are doors covering the shelves. So um, these are not the final temper final doors; these are more temporary. But uh, yeah, so just a just a piece of plywood uh, with carpet on the face. I need to go with some thicker thicker plywood because it's a little bit thin. Uh, so I will be redoing those at some point. But they're in, and they do a good job of hiding things. Uh, I don't want people during one of our demos open those because there's just so much stuff behind there. But uh, another thing, we did some carpet to the rest of the rack in the audio booth. Again, that's fairly, probably fairly temporary. Uh, I do plan to, I'm, I, I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. So. Uh, I may open those up and make those storage. If not, if nothing else, I'll at least fill on those with plywood to try and keep the amount of sound leaking through down a little bit. But they do make things look a little neater. And so there's that. Pretty sure I showed you guys my Genelec monitors in the last update video. But yeah, I added those a little while ago. So a couple of Gen Genelec 8010As. Uh, add another hook for headphones. I th think I had this webbing in place last time I did an update, but it holds transmitters, receivers, that kind of thing uh, for wireless systems. Um, you'll see these things throughout the trailer. Um, when we did these sort of public open house a few weeks ago, I put these cards up around around the, the trailer, and there's another one here. They're kind of all over the place. What They were meant to give people an idea of, of what those various functions of the booths stations in the trailer actually are. Um, you can actually download those if you want to. Uh, so the website to get to those is djp.li slash mpu info and mpu is mobile production unit which is kind of what I'm calling the trailer. So yeah you can go to that website and download these information cards and see for yourself what it is uh, the guests that are coming to see the trailer are actually are actually seeing there. So, um, so next thing show you here so I have wood on the edges so they're on on that on that portion of the audio booth there in the front edge of that these are all oak stained oak and one here and then one over here on the opposite side of the door it just kind of makes things look a little nicer uh, I will still be doing some more um, but 
So yeah, that does really help quite a bit. It does make the, make the inside look well, considerably better. Um, another thing, carpet. There's carpet on the floor now. Uh, I'll let you guys see kind of what the pattern looks like. You know, it looks a little bit lighter on camera than it does in real, in real life. But uh, yeah, so that's there. Uh, installed that, actually, it's actually been about three weeks ago since we since installed that. Uh, but that does deaden the sound in here quite a bit. That helps a lot. And I'm really pleased with what I got. And I got it as a remnant from a carpet store. And so it didn't cost me hardly anything. It's actually a really high grade a carpet that's meant to, to wear really well. So, so there you go. And then oh, the mat is a little bit out of place. Uh, speaking of carpet, you may have a little bit hard time seeing this, but underneath the front desk, there are now some doors there and they're covered in the same carpet as the walls. So you kind of get an idea what that's like, but there's two doors that open up side by side. This is one this way and then one opens up this way. Um, and that, so that really helps to hide what's going on under there pretty well. Um, let's see. Again, just lots and lots and lots of little things. Um, another thing up here, a little mount for a camera and 12 volt power and an SDI input. And that's gonna be used for YouTube videos moving forward. And that'll be a camera that basically looks down at the desk that I use for the vi for those videos. And so you guys can see kind of a close up view of whatever it is I happen to be showing at the time. So there's that. And similarly, I have, I moved my Blackmagic Micro Studio camera over to this wall and then added connections on the wall for it. So SDI output input, 12 volt power, and then an HDMI input. And that HDMI signal comes to this monitor so I can, I can configure that camera without having to uh, rewire anything. I just uh, change the input on this monitor and, and good to go there. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I think I showed you guys the, the grill on that speaker. And then there's a grill on this intake fan. Um, painted to match the carpet. Um, let's see, what else? And there's just so, so, so many little tiny things that uh, took me a couple weeks to do. Um, I say, as I mentioned, I mentioned, they have the information cards kind of all over the place. Um, I have one little issue I need to deal with there. You can see that on screen. Um, I think that's probably my multi-view. My multi-view multi 16 is acting up. So I may need to get that, get that repaired. Uh, let's see. Um, my confidence monitor, uh, I wired that directly into program output. And so that always shows program now instead of uh, mirroring what was uh, being displayed on the monitor on the other side of the audio booth. Uh, let's see. Oh, I brought my mouse mats in finally. I had those made up almost a year ago. Actually, it's been more than a year ago. And they were just kind of sitting inside. I finally brought them out to the trailer. One there, one there. Out of the wireless charger for a phone. Um, oh, I I re since re since I last showed you this panel, I actually rewired it so it's in a an order that makes a little more sense. So intercoms here on the left, closer where the pro person's actually going to be sitting. Have these the switch, uh, temporary microphone on is down, and then to lock it on, you, you flip the switch upward. Um, I haven't put those on all the stations yet, but that will be happening at some point. Uh, the other thing I did here is I added a dedicated video input and right now it's currently hooked to HDMI to SDI converter which I would normally use with a laptop so when I'm doing a YouTube video I'll hook the laptop into that and that'll just go directly in, into there and that actually goes right into the switcher. Um, let's see, and then just other things like consolidating the inputs, the connections for the monitor on, on the opposite end. Uh, this monitor is actually not going to stay there. It's going to be on an arm on this desk. So it's sort of centered, you know, right in the middle of the desk facing facing the chair. It'll be a movable arm though. Uh, so, uh, let's see, what else? I know there's just so, so, so many little things that I've done. Oh, uh, Paul bought this thing for me. It's a, it's a boogie board. So you, you write on it and then you can erase it. So good for 
doing notes for, as we're going live. We're getting ready to go live on an event, so I can, you know, show people where they're going to be and something like things like that. Um, let's see what else. Just so 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 many little things. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but it's a list of inputs and outputs on this on the, the patch panel, and then the, the two routing switchers. So I can look very quickly look that up. Trying to remember what else I've done. It's just been it's all been a blur the last few weeks. I know I've done more than that. I've done quite a bit more than that. Uh, nothing's really jumping out at me at the moment. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, you, you can kind of see though, the whole thing looks a lot more finished than it ever has before. Uh, because basically it is. Uh, it's more or less ready to go. And uh, I'm very, very pleased with the reactions I'm getting with, from people when they see it. Uh, people are saying things like, uh, it's better than what they had anticipated it was going to be, even based on videos that they'd seen about it. So videos that I posted here on the channel or on Facebook or whatever, uh, people, people that have seen those videos and actually seen the trailer in person say it's so much better in person than they, than they ever imagined. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So uh, yeah, people seem to really, really be happy with the way that this thing has turned out, including me. I'm very happy with it, the way that it is. So, uh, in terms of first upgrades I'm going to be doing after this, I really, really want to be upgrading it with the, the audio booth. This Personas mixer has just let me down way too many times. I've ha I had an event a couple weeks ago where it absolutely refused to pass any audio at all. And no matter, no, matter how, no matter how much twink tinkering I did with it, power off, power on, letting it sit, uh, I did a master reset, it would not pass any audio whatsoever. Uh, a bit of a problem, you know. I, I, I need to be able to, to mix, and uh, the mixer's not working. That's hard to do. So I, I still plan on getting the Yamaha TF3. Uh, I need a few more gigs in order to pull that off. I have had one sort of setback uh, that's preventing me from really doing much by the way of upgrades at the moment. Um, the job that I had, uh, software job that I had, uh, ended uh, about a month ago. And so I lost that source of income, which means basically the only in income I have right now is from DJP. So I'm trying to drum up a lot more business in order to compensate for that loss. And uh, so and that means that I've not, I can't put as much money into gear at the moment, so I have to be a little bit more careful. But I do, do, do still plan to do upgrades, including that Yamaha mixer. So hopefully sooner than later, I'll have that and be able to show it, show it to you guys. So um, I'm, I'm trying some things in order to figure out how to make that happen. I have some old gear that I can sell. and uh, So anyway. Um, so um, if you guys have any questions about what I've done here, uh, be sure and leave those in the comments down section down below, or go to the, go to my website djp.li/contact and then go directly to the contact page, uh, and you can you can email me there. I usually reply pretty fast. Um, so, but um, yeah, so this really does conclude the last of the videos in the phase one of the trio or construction video series. Uh, so, don't expect anything more anytime soon. So, I will definitely be pumping out quite a bit of content here on the YouTube channel. Uh, I've got a lot of videos planned. I just haven't had the time to shoot them because of getting the trailer finished. And July, June and July were insane with, with gigs. We had at least one gig a week uh, for both months. Uh, I looked at it the other day. I had, we had 10 gigs in seven weeks, something like that. So. Uh, it's been insane. I haven't had time to create much, by the way, of YouTube videos, but I do have some planned. I've got some products uh, that I'm currently reviewing. I'm getting ready to produce videos for some of those, so be on the lookout for that. So, Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, be sure and subscribe for roughly weekly content re regarding uh, professional video production topics. Uh, and uh, I'll be posting more videos soon. So. Anyway, thanks for, for watching and thanks for following along with the trailer construction series. Uh, this has been a lot of fun to produce and I hope you've had watch, fun watching it too. So anyway, we'll talk to you later.